Hello, my name is King Wizard and welcome to another video. Where well, today, we're doing something special. In this video, we're going to be building houses in different versions of Minecraft. I have an idea of the house I might be building in the very first version we'll be getting into this video. But you'll have to see. But anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and check out my socials down below. Where there's Instagram, where if you want to share some fan art with me, that is a very good place to share that with me. And if you want to contact me or chat with me, Discord is also a good place to do so as well. Anyways, let's get into the video. The very first version we're playing is Classic. I'm playing in the browser version, which was added to celebrate 10 years of Minecraft around three years ago. Um, it's not an... It's merely a recreation, but let's see. And I mean, I would choose one of the classic versions from the launcher, but those can be sometimes very buggy, especially on my computer. It's a very old computer, by the way. But let's see what we can create in this classic world. Okay, so behind me is the finished house for cl the classic era. I mean, there wasn't much I could do because this is literally the full inventory. Legit, that's all there is at this point in development, apparently. And, yeah. And unfortunately, the lighting was different. And also, there wasn't anything with light that I could use in this version for much. Oh, and in this version, it can basically spawn friends, basically. And I do feel kind of lonely, so I'm gonna press G. Like this. And they're a little misshapen, but they're, 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 they're good friends. They keep on running away from me. But yeah, they're legit the only mobs in this game, actually, at the moment. At this point in development. But yeah, this is the classic house. Let's move on to the next version. Which will actually probably be a creative version because the versions in between the Minecraft now and this version of Minecraft, it's all survival pretty much. So yeah, and at that point in development, it was like very buggy and it was very time consuming. So the next stage in development I'm going to is a creative version. Let's go. Let's see what we can make. The version we are in now is beta 1.8. I had to skip a good 100 plus versions because either they were all completely survival or they were very, very grindy and very buggy. And again, with my computer, I can't have bugs. I, I shouldn't have bugs. I'm gonna make another house and I'll see you when it's all done. Alright, so I finished the... Beta 1.8 house, and this is what it looks like. I really do like what I was able to do in this version, despite the amount of blocks there isn't. Is 
Yeah, that totally makes sense. But the thing is... You know what makes it more difficult is the fact... This is the inventory. That's all you have, basically. But that's not even what part of what makes it difficult. Here's another example. So if I try to, you know... If I tried to make another down slab on this block, it just travels to that block. And don't even get me started on the stairs in this version. I'm gonna try to place this upside down. It don't work. You can't place anything on grass. You can't replace grass at all in this version. But look, I try to make a corner and Let's try again. It doesn't work in this version. But despite the limitations, I think I was able to make a pretty good looking house. I even tried to make a fireplace. Like an actual fireplace, but that didn't really go well. I don't have any footage of that. Um, because making footage is kind of hard in this version, because normally I would press F10 to, like, record a video in Minecraft, but in this version, it freezes the game. It just pauses, it just freezes the game, which I mean is good for a freeze frame, but, like, so, basically, I had to cheat a little bit, and, um, Place some logs here and some torches right behind it to make sort of a flame here. And in this version of the game, there seems to be a lighting glitch with paintings. Basically, if I don't have any torches nearby, it just goes completely black. In modern versions of Minecraft, you don't have that. And also, in this version of the game, this seems to occur a lot. And no matter how much I try, I cannot get this to disappear. This black stuff on the stairs, it does not seem to disappear. I think it's like a bug in this version of the game. Of course, I tried to add some greenery as well. I even tried to add a grass roof as well. I'm just going to go the full mile and go from 1.8 beta to 1.18.1 for the next version so let's go here we are again we're on java 1.18.1 this was the version earlier in the video okay so between beta 1.8 to this version a lot of stuff has been added but mostly after like 1.12 so let's build this new house in 1.18. All right, so I just finished the house. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Very nice and pretty. I of course did the moss roof again, because I do like those. Let me show you what's inside. As soon as I get out of this pond, why I went here in first place. But this is the first part of the new house. A holdover from, you know, beta. And I decided to include azalea leaves since those are one of the more recent additions. So let's go inside. And this is the inside. I was gonna have the bed and stuff in this part, but there wasn't enough room. So, yeah. And then, of course, we have this little area right here and of course we got a fireplace and thankfully campfires make making fireplaces much easier because well it doesn't spread fire it just stays put so we got the three most important types of furnaces we got the regular furnace the smoker and the blast furnace we got some bookshelves as well. And I and I really like adding like domed ceilings sometimes because like 
they add like a little bit of I don't know the word for it honestly and I am a native English speaker and I still do not know the word but anyways let's go into here this is the l bedroom got my fishy smack up there armor stand with my armor and then my beta and yeah that's the inside of this house of course i also decide to include some detail here as well anyways that's the end of this house as well so on to the very last version we'll get into this video now you might be asking what version is it well my my friend well it's not the current version it's still in the snapshot phase but i will show you i'll try to find some way to import this world into the new version however i am by no means a technical genius so that's gonna be very difficult for me to do but if i have a plan i'm gonna proceed with that plan anyways Let's get into it. I'm in the newest snapshot of 1.19. It doesn't add much, but the previous snapshots did add quite a lot. There's frogs, my new favorite wood, which I'm definitely going to be using, and a bunch of other things. But I'll show you once I'm done recreating this little cottage. Alright, so I just finished updating the cottage. Not much was updated, but like, I just basically just replaced most of the blocks here with my new favorite wood, the mangrove, plus my favorite color, by the way. But I did do some little changes, like I added these shutters. I almost forgot the word for that, but they're shutters, so that when it's dark, I can close the window and have a good night's sleep. And this is my new favorite type of brick wood, because it's like, it's like so neutral, like you could use it in any type of place. Literally any. But yeah, other than that, not much is updated inside the house, but outside the house, we got some new things. Like this, which I forgot to cover, called lichen. And then there's mangrove leaves. Oh, and one of the new changes in the snapshots is you can now waterlog leaf blocks. I'll show you. There you go. Now you can water now you can waterlog some leaves. And, of course, I added some new 1.19 blocks, like mud. And I added some mobs, such as frogs. I also added the frog lights, but as floating lanterns as well. And that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It took a very long time to make this video. Mainly because I had to go through so many versions and I was doing a lot of things in my personal life as well. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a lovely day. Bye!